What's up y'all out here at the range as you can see behind me still doing some jelly testing uh overcast skies out here but it's actually not real cold at all it's about uh, it's in the high 40s not quite 50 i don't think it's reached it yet but it's supposed to be what it's going to reach today so not bad at all i'm trying to get all the tests i can in before this crazy winter weather comes in this weekend but as y'all can see by the title we got us another nine millimeter test here so as you can see got the jelly contraption got my chrono got a couple blocks of gel here now i've done a couple tests on this and i got a little i got a little towards the middle more than i wanted to but i think i should be able to thread the needle here and, and uh, get this test done on this side before i flip it around but what we're doing today is we're going back to the v crowns now as y'all know if you've watched many of my testing videos v crowns are some of my favorite hollow point rounds period i put them right there with the hsts as far as performance from what i've seen out of my test um now that being said the 115s i don't think i've ever tested there's one of these i've never tested i think i've done the 124s matter of fact i know i have i I know it's the 115s that i've never tested and um, just so happened to somebody in the comments requested that i do the 115s against the 124 so that's what we're doing today we got the sig v crown 115s and the v crown 124s uh now as far as info on the box here they're claiming a muzzle velocity of 1185 on the 115s and 120 or in uh 1165 on the 124 so just a little bit a little bit slower on the 124s and a little bit more foot pounds of energy on the 124s according to the box 359 on the 115 374 on the 124s now as always i'm sure that's out of a very long test barrel who knows because they didn't list it on the box but what we working with today here is the mp9 shield ez with the three and a half inch barrel so it's kind of an in-between not a full size not a super compact but right there in the middle so should be a good test just based off past performance on these v crowns and and the way i know they perform i'm expecting good things out of both of these to be honest with you so i bet they're going to be really really similar in the results but let me get y'all set up and we'll check it out out. All right, y'all, as always, we're gonna get some speeds on these things. We're gonna start out with the 115 grainers. Like I say, on the box, it's calling for 1185. So we'll see how close it comes out of this three and a half inch barrel. I'm not expecting that, but it'd be nice to get close to that. So three round average on it, y'all. Here we go. Twelve oh eight. Twelve oh one. And 1207, that's what you love to see right there. That exceeded what they claimed on the box. You got to love that and very consistent. Let's check out that three round average. All right, so the three round average on the 115 grainers was 1,205 feet per second when it claimed on the box 1185. So it exceeded what the box claimed. I really, really love it when that happens. So let me get it reset and let's check out the 124s. All right, here we go with the 124s. Again, these were claiming 1165. After seeing the 115s, I expect these to exceed that also. Uh, now these 124 V crowns are actually my personal carry rounds in a couple of my different tools. So uh, I expect these to do well, I've tested these before and I know they ain't no slouch. So let's see what we get, y'all. 1181. 1169. And 1156. So let's check that average out on that one. All right, so the three round average on the 124s was 1168, which exceeded the 1165 it called for on the box. Not by a whole lot, but it met and exceeded it, which is a fantastic thing. Now, if y'all remember on those 115s, it was 1205, so 37 feet per second difference, 37 feet per second faster from the 115s. So not a whole lot. Like I say, I expect very similar results out of these two rounds in the jail. So let me get everything reset and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's double crown jelly time. We're going to start out with the 115s. Like I said, I'm having to thread the needle in this gel. Um, I'm going to try to put this one high and the other one low where there's some clear spots. I may go out the top or bottom, so we may have to take another shot, but that's all right. Let's see what we can do with this 115, y'all. I think I stayed in that. Let me go down there and check it out. All 
All right, y'all, that was perfect placement on that one, if I do say so myself. Uh, captured it in the gel. It looks like it, it performed fantastic, like I, like I just knew it was going to. Uh, so let's check out these 124s and see what they do. I'm going to try to go up under that one with the 124. So here we go, y'all. All right, as y'all saw, we goofed on that one. Went a little bit too low. I'm trying to keep it out of those other tracks up above. So I'm gonna move it up just a little bit. Um, that being said, it captured the projectile. I think it's it's a it would be a fine observation, but we don't get to see the wound channel as good. So I'm gonna move it up a little more. There we go. That's perfect right there. Let's go down there and check those out. All right, y'all, let's take a look at what we got. Uh, as you can see, we got three of them here. This is the 115, the bottom ones are the 124s. Now this very bottom one, as you can see, it definitely touched off the wood down there. It didn't dig into it, but it's probably invalid. As you can see, it went about an inch further than the other 124, uh, but I would say, and, and if you'll notice, it's almost completely backwards. I'm sure that wood caused it to tumble around and get that little bit of extra penetration. So we're gonna discount that one. We're gonna work with this one for the 124 and then our 115 up here. Now, as far as the wound channels, exactly the same. I'm, I can tell you from being here, looking at them, all the angles, they're exactly the same on these wound channels. This one up here is a little bit misleading because there's a wound channel behind it from a silver tip we did. But if you'll notice, it's got some lighter colored little feathering around the edges. That's the one in the background there. So the foreground has got the lighter white color. And if you look at those, they're, they're identical. You can't tell any difference in these wound channels. Uh, there's some shrapnel in here on this 124 and i think there's a few pieces on the 115 but we'll definitely get the weights on the projectiles here in a bit as far as the penetration on it uh this 124 like i say that touched off down on the wood down there that one went all the way out to about 14 and a half and rebounded back to 13 uh but the 115 it's out here at 13 rebounded back to about 12 and a half so 13 inches forward momentum the 124 that's a good test is right at 12 and a half forward momentum rebounded back to about 11 and three quarters so you got 12 and a half forward momentum on the 124 and you got 13 on the 115 so just a half of an inch difference in between those all right y'all let's get some data on these projectiles so over here on the left is the 115 on the right is the 124 and i can just tell you visibly there's a difference in the size on these this 124 has got some nice size on it 115 absolutely no slouch but the 124 has definitely got the size advantage uh, as you can see both of them opened up absolutely fantastic like they always do on these v-crown nine millimeters uh, i just love these expanded projectiles on these things absolute perfect flowered open projectile now look at this 124 that hit the wood down there and you can see that's exactly why it got that little bit of extra penetration that right there is the, the part that kind of bounced on the wood there and tumbled it around backwards so we're going to completely discount that one all together so 115 and 124 so first off we'll get some weights on it like i say i can tell there's a little bit of shrapnel left behind but let's see just how much all right so the 115 started out obviously 115 and it is at 113.8 so 113.8 left on the 115 124 obviously started at 124 and there's 123.6 left 123.6 left on the 124 so nice retention on both of those now as for the sizes on them we'll start with the 115 here get the, the expansion size so we're looking at 0 0.59 0 0.585 0.589 and 0.574, so I would say an average of about 0.58 or so on that 115. As far as the 124, 0 0.65, 0 0.658, 0 0.665, so definitely more expansion on this 124, and you can just tell it just by looking at it. 
So there you go, y'all, the 115 and the 124 V crown. I mean, like I say, these are some of my favorite rounds out of all that I've tested. I have a bunch of these and uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep picking up some every time I see them, I'm gonna get a box or two of them because I absolutely love these projectiles. I love the performance of these things. Now, a lot of people are gonna want more, more penetration as always, but you know, through a barrier or through clothing, you're probably gonna get a little bit less expansion. So that's probably gonna give you a little bit more penetration, but either way, uh, with that wound channel and the energy dump and the expansion on these, I think it's, it's, it's plenty sufficient that these would get the job done for sure. All right, y'all, another V-Crown jelly test down. Like I said, these are one of my absolute favorite rounds. These are one of the rounds I carry uh, between these, the HSTs, and the Winchester T-Series. Um, those, in my opinion, those are, are three of the top dogs, like hard to beat. And anybody ever ask me which ones I would recommend or personally use, it's the V-Crowns, the HSTs, and the T-Series. They're, they're just absolutely phenomenal. These V-Crowns, every test I've done except for one of the 45 tests I've done that it was a heavy 230 grainer out of a short uh, Colt officer model. It, it didn't like that short barrel. It wanted a little bit more speed out of that heavy projectile so it didn't penetrate, it didn't uh, expand well. But every single nine millimeter test I've done, they have performed absolutely flawless, fantastic, cannot be beat. I mean, they, these are some really, really nice defensive rounds, y'all. As y'all saw yourself, excellent expansion. Even the one that hit down on the bottom of the wood still came back and did its expanding thing. Now it went a little bit further because of that. So that's what I mean here. A lot of people want more penetration in this and I wouldn't mind having an inch or two more if I can keep this expansion for sure. But like I said, when you talk about going through clothing or barriers, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna not expand quite as much. So that's gonna get you probably another inch or so of penetration. And that's why a lot of people ask me why I don't do clothing tests. Because because we already know what's gonna happen, y'all. We already know that it's not gonna expand quite as much, so it's gonna penetrate another inch or two. That's just the way it is. So you can kind of figure that into a bare shell test. Just use common sense with it. But that being said, either way, I would be perfectly happy carrying this 115 or this 124. I didn't feel any difference in recoil, snappiness, or anything out of these rounds. Really smooth shooting rounds, really great performing rounds. I just can't say enough good about these SIG V crowns. But y'all let me know y'all's thoughts down in the comments. Did these perform up to your standards? Would you rather see a little bit more? Are you perfectly satisfied with these? Do you carry these? Have you thought about carrying some of these? Do you see them out in the wild for a good price, a bad price? That's another thing. Usually when I find these, uh, like I say, I pick up a box every time I see them and they're usually at a decent price. But let me know what y'all's experience have been when you see them out for sale. Are they at a decent price or pretty outrageous? If you enjoy the video as always, make sure to reach down and hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you can be notified when I upload these new videos. Make sure you are subscribed. If you were supposed to be subscribed and wanted to be subscribed, check and make sure you hadn't been unsubscribed for whatever reason. You know how it happens sometimes. So check that out down below. Check my Amazon storefront affiliate link down in the description. Like I always ask you, I'm not asking you to go out of your way and shop through Amazon, but if you shop through Amazon anyway, hit that link up first. It don't cost you any extra time or money. Go straight through the Amazon site like normal from there. And anything you buy on Amazon after going through that link first, we get a kickback from them towards the channel. So I really appreciate that. That helps out. And I thank y'all for that. Appreciate all my range gang members who reached out and hit that join button. I really do thank y'all for that. That also helps a lot. So I really appreciate that. Thank you to each and every one of y'all who watches my videos. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And like I say, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are on these V crowns. Do you carry them? Uh, are you going to start carrying them after seeing some of the results from them? Let me know what you think about them. I'm going to try to knock out a few more tests while I'm out here. Still got a little bit of daylight. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that. In the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared.